test for integrity of the circuit. Visual inspection. Check the entire brain circuit. Machine and to the patient and for any damages. Check the attachment of the inner tube at the patient end and machine end. Check the APL valve for its functioning and spring action. Check the reservoir part for any leaks. Next test is pelvic test. Connect the brain circuit to common gas outlet. Close the APL valve fully. Occlude the patient end of the circuit that is outer tube. Fill the circuit with oxygen. Let the reservoir bag hang vertically downwards. And let it be allowed to empty passively. Press the oxygen flush and watch the reservoir bag. We observe sudden collapse of the reservoir bag due to creation of venturi effect at the junction of inner tube and outer tube. This indicates inner tube is intact. And the third test is Feeds and Plantin Smith test. Attach the brain circuit to auxiliary oxygen port. Set the oxygen flow at 2 to 3 liters per minute. Patient end of the inner tube is occluded with index finger for 2 to 3 seconds. Observe the rotameter bobbin. We observe a descent of bobbin due to back pressure on removal of the finger. The bobbin then descends to its original position. Dr. Goat suggested the use of plunger of 2 ml syringe for hygienic reasons. Dr. Gunny suggested the usage of plunger of 3 ml syringe and we observe the descent of bobbin and the hissing sound from patient end of the inner tube. This indicates inner tube is intact. 